Hello and welcome to User Spotlights. I'm Laura with ClickFunnels, and today I'm speaking with Adam Bogue. Adam is the founder of Business Success Academy, where he works to support coaches, entrepreneurs, and course creators launch their expert business. His main focus is teaching business owners that technology doesn't have to be complicated and mindset is everything. Welcome, Adam. Thanks for being my guest today. Thanks, Laura. Thank you very much for having me. It's an absolute honor to have been asked. So thank you. I'm very much. really looking forward to getting to know more about you and what you're doing as a funnel builder. So tell me um, a little bit about yourself and your background. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, I guess my journey has been a bit of a whirlwind over the years, but I've I've always really involved myself within technology and automation and just love that kind of thing and brought that to every aspect of my life. My earlier businesses were very product driven, product based. Uh, it was specifically retail, and I was around very early with that whole online scene of shifting brick and mortar businesses to to online, which was which was really cool at the time. So that kind of led me down this whole different world, different path, because it really mixed my love of that entrepreneurship, that love of selling products, getting in front of people and, and doing all of the things that was running a business and merging that with the online. So that became kind of a little bit of my passion, a little bit of yeah everything that I, that I did. So fast forward a bit, we, I had uh, multiple businesses, um, all brick and mortar, all retail. And then COVID kind of came along and I, things, things, we, we, we pivoted things even more online and found that things exploded even more, which was kind of, you know, the opposite to the trend, I suppose, which was, you know, a terrible time for many, but, um, but it really, it really worked for us. To the point where we had, you know, people wanting to look at buying our, our businesses. And I kind of gave me that opportunity to get out of the physical space and then focus purely on the online, uh, on the, on the online space, which was, which was really cool. But whilst I was doing that, I was also mentoring, helping lots of other businesses sort of doing that kind of thing as well, which is, I guess, where that shift had started already happening to that expert kind of realm, um, mm -hmm. that sort of coaching, coaching business, which was, which was, which was good. Cause I think when I really sit back and look at what really drives me and makes me, it really all comes down to education. You know, if being able to help people, being able to, to educate them in how that they can make what to them is really complicated things, really simple. And yeah. that's what I absolutely love doing. So that's sort of that journey that, that brought me to, to where I am kind of now, which was sort of at first I was spending a lot of time helping retail businesses with their um, merge that brick and mortar to online. And that has since shifted really to where I guess a lot of my passion is, which is helping, as you said, coaches, course creators, people that have amazing, absolutely brilliant and heart-centered, passionate about what it is they do. But they, when it comes to the technology, often there's a bit of a roadblock and, um, you know, they put all this, all this work, all this effort into, into building a business. But the, what's letting them down is, is this big, bad technology, which really, when, when we break it down and, and no one's shown them how simple certain things can be. And especially when it comes to something like ClickFunnels and now ClickFunnels 2.0, it yeah. just simplifies everything and brings everything together rather than before where we're having to grab a piece from here and plug it into the machine, grab a piece from here and plug it into the machine. It's just brought it all to that one place, which is, that's, yeah, so amazing to do. Yeah. And I'm sure that resonates with a lot of people in our community because people from all walks of earth join ClickFunnels, whether it's to find funnel builders or to do it themselves, to learn about business, just to get tips and advice on how to get things started as an entrepreneur. Um, and we get people even in the community all the time that get started, they're in their trial, but then they're just overwhelmed. And the software is simple, but people just have this really big business ideas and they don't want to take the time to actually build out their funnels. So it's really interesting. I think a lot of people can resonate with the the idea that the technology is 
one of the obstacles for a specific type of person. And to be able to get past that is, I think, really helpful because so many people have amazing ideas and that shouldn't the technology shouldn't be what stops them from moving forward. So speaking of that, how long have you been um, with ClickFunnels? Yes. Yeah, so, well, to, to be honest with ClickFunnels, it hasn't been that long because of that uh, product focus uh, mm -hmm. business. However, in the world that is Russell, it, uh, much longer. Like I first was introduced to Russell in, I think it was 2012. So pre ClickFunnels, um, which was, which was really cool. So he had come down to Australia for an event and was, um, you know, the, what really like, it was the first speaker that I'd really seen that merged my two real passions at the time, which was, as I said, this, this technology, but also the marketing, you know, that, that raw principles that, that, you know, that, that Dan Kennedy, that, that, that stuff just put it all together. And, um, I was even looking through notes from 2012, which was really cool. And he laid out, you know, the, the 10 things you need to do. And it's like, this was just the blueprint for, for, you know, the books that were to come, you know, the, the dot com and the expert secrets, which was so cool. Yeah. So yeah, followed, always been sort of immersed in what Russell was doing and loved click funnels had helped others set up click funnels where their product base wasn't quite where, you know, where those physical products were at the time. But it wasn't until the funnel builder program uh, was launched on the first webinar that, that, that Russell did, um, the one that he did live, which was so cool and started, he really, it was the first time he had, that, to my knowledge that he'd really showcased what 2.0 could do. Yeah. And that's when I had that real aha moment. Hang on, I can bring all of this together. You know, I've been helping people with 1.0, but now I can, I can really just plug everything in with 2.0 and it was going to be absolutely brilliant. And, um, so far 2.0 has more than, has more than delivered on the promise, which has been amazing. Awesome. So I'm, I imagine you work with tons of different types of experts in different industries. Um, so I imagine you have experience with several different types of funnels. What would you say are the most effective or the ones that are your favorite to build out for, for some of the people you work with? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, look, but certainly anyone starting like the lead squeeze is just, it's just amazing. You've got to, you need to build a list. That is the most critical thing in, in what we do. We need to build lists. So anything that captures their details, but by far for, for me, for clients, a variation of a free challenge funnel is by far my, you know, I think the, the lowest barrier to entry to really get in front of people and really impact people. And especially in the, that sort of expert industry, when you break it down, it's, it's education. That's what we're trying to do is, is educate. So if you can, you know, it's something that's so easy to plug into a challenge model and what's so cool about it, especially you've got um, the upcoming, upcoming challenges with, with yeah. Russell and Pedro, which is really, really cool. But what I love about the challenge model is it's like an accordion. It can be, it can be done to the grandeur of something like what Russell does, or it can be done to a much intimate setting, a much more intimate setting, which is, you know, it's just so powerful. It can be a, you know, it could be delivered in a one day. It could be delivered in a three to five day, but it could also drag out over eight weeks. You can, you can really play with, with it depending on how best to get in front of prospects, how, you know, how best to really showcase what it is you do in a way that they're really left at the end with the only one logical solution that is, hang on, I need you in my life. So, yeah. so that's, that's a uh, really good point. In fact, I hadn't really thought about that before because I think, so I've been well-versed in challenges for a while now being in this space, but for somebody as a consumer who is new to challenges or who is being marketed um, or is receiving emails about like, you know, let's say a five day challenge. I feel like that's a pretty common one. Um, they kind of get in the mindset that that's what a, a, the average challenge looks like. But you're right. Like the, the time can it can be longer. It can be shorter. It can be delivered in an email sequence or an autoresponder. It can be delivered via video. Like there's so many different ways to customize it. 
Um, and I think that makes it more approachable as an expert of you already have the education, like you know how to deliver this, you have the content, it's just kind of putting the pieces together and teaching it and kind of spreading that out so that it's in bite-sized pieces for people to understand and actually do the homework. So I like that that does make the whole idea of a challenge a lot less scary for somebody who may be interested in actually building one. Yeah, most definitely. It's, um, it's yeah, I've always looked at it more of a, an event style funnel that kind of removes that um, free thought that it has to look like a Russell challenge. It has to look like the big challenges that um, that, that that are hugely um, publicized and and look amazing and they they do amazing. But that then gets into that mindset of the that person that's really sort of starting out earlier in their career in that sort of first first sort of three years that are going, I can't do that. I yeah. can't speak to thousands of people. Like I don't have the video screens. I don't have the tech. I've I've got one. I've got a laptop, and I've got a camera. Um, but by taking that pressure off, and by I sort of re refer to that more as an event funnel. But it's just that that model. But being able to repackage it in a way that is totally totally works for for people that are sort of in more their infancy. Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. So you mentioned that you've been kind of new to the ClickFunnels world, or at least uh, working with the software as a funnel builder. Um, tell me a little bit about what you have set in terms of goals in the next couple of years. Yeah, definitely. So um, yeah, so I've been around ClickFunnels a while, but for as far as my me physically paying for a uh, subscription, that was what was what that was what really shifted. It. Um, but that was where I was kind of was able to bring everything together. Because what I would have found with with all of that is you can, especially with the affiliate program, you can really sort of merge a lot of things together, which you know make your your total offering so much stronger because yeah. you can really support with, especially with what I do, with supporting with that education um, surrounding technology. But so as I said, I joined the Funnel Builder uh, certification, so I think I've. Um, the, the the big goal obviously is to to go on stage and collect the the funnel builder award um so that's uh, right on track that's kind of got all the all the certifications Great. lined up there which is pretty cool uh and then just working the the this business to towards a two comma um that's obviously the next goal i want to have a, a matching plaque which will look even better and just sort of working on scaling it from there obviously um you know that's that's the the, the sounds good on the on the on the back of the wall kind of um, approach to it, but the truth is, it's the same thing. I've same approach I've taken to every business, and every business has always worked out in a very successful way. That I've not really cared about the money. I've not cared about. It's about how can I have that more impact? How can I, how can I help you understand that this is the right way forward for you, the right product, the right anything? And if I can help you understand it from your point of view as to what you you know how this will impact you in such a positive way then it, it the rest happens by default yeah that's you know, amazing i think a lot of people chase the dollar but if you chase the just serving the serving the customer at the, the highest possible level the you know the Everything reverse effect will just fall into place for you yeah. yeah it's great i think it's so important to put the value first um I, I spoke to somebody on here that mentioned, you know, kind of like what you said about chasing the dollar. And if you are willing to even work for free or prove yourself, you can kind of create your own value ladder of let me help you do this. Let me prove my worth to you. And then those same people are going to be so loyal to you because you provided them with that value um, that you're, you're going to be the first person that they go to when they need help actually growing their business or building new funnels or trying a challenge or um, and I, and I think that says a lot, like serve first and everything else kind of falls into place. So you have given us a lot of really great pieces of advice, um, as a funnel builder and somebody in this expert space, what would you say is the most impactful piece of advice you could give to a fellow entrepreneur? Yeah. Um, the, the, the big one is look, obviously selling through education, but keeping it simple, don't overcomplicate it. The, the biggest challenge that I see that creates that overwhelm for most people is 
They're trying to solve their problems of today for their customer. Where the problems of their customer are probably so much simpler, mm. but that creates a disconnect. You know, the, the problems your customers are having, uh, you know, your clients, they're, they're generally something you can do in your sleep. And that's where that disconnect is, is just keeping it simple and, and, and wrapping it around everything marketing. You know, marketing is everything. And you know, the biggest tip I can give is go read the books, Russell's books. Like the, you, you've got the blueprint, you've, you've got everything you need right there in front of you. Um, you know, especially with, with X, you know, if you've got a bit of an idea about it all, expert secrets is just next level. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're very new to it, dot com secrets, um, would be the first one to go, but expert secrets, absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. It really does give you all the framework so that you finish that book and you, there's no question of where to get started and you just, you feel the, you, you're fueled to get started regardless. And I think that that's really cool. Um, so Adam, uh, as a funnel builder and somebody who focuses on this expert industry, where can people go to learn more about you and your business? or go to you for help. <laughs> yeah, so um, Business Success Academy, uh, as you mentioned, .com.au because I am in Australia, but um, I do predominantly work with the US, so time zone challenges are less of a problem than you might think. Um, socials, yes, they're there, but uh, certainly uh, the, the website, and I have got, I believe, a challenge coming up soon for those coaches in the in the you know, sort of first one to three years that it's just trying to really break that market. And I've got a challenge coming up very soon, which should be a lot of fun helping them just look at creative ways to really launch that to that next level and, you know, get that, whether it's that first client, that 10th client or that, that hundredth client, just getting it so that it will work more on autopilot and really helping them build the machine around it, which will ultimately lead to a much better business that is far less stress-free. Wonderful. And I look forward to seeing that. And if it comes out before this interview goes public on YouTube, we'll make sure that we include that in the description along with all of the other places that people can find you. Um, you did mention, one last thing, you did mention that you are hoping to collect that Funnel Builder Certification Award. Will you be at Funnel Hacking Live this year? Most definitely, yes, I will be there and I will be walking on stage to collect that trophy or that little plaque. Um, super excited about that. Obviously didn't join the program, even knowing a plaque existed. Um, <laughs> but once, as soon as they, they announced that, uh, though they, they showcased us that last year and I saw that and went, Oh, that looks very cool. It's probably one of the really almost, I almost go as far as saying it's almost a better looking award. It's a very nice looking award. So looking it, forward. it is, it's very nice. And that's probably the most exciting day of the entire event is getting everybody getting to see everybody walk across that stage, collect those awards, get their picture taken. And it's just, everyone is just glowing, is happy. It's so motivational. I'm truly inspired by watching all of it. So I will be there as well. And I look forward to seeing you collect that award and getting to meet you in person, Adam. Thank you so much for being my guest today. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you.